G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is an FN Scar H. This is Subleader's Scar mod that was originally released back in 2021, and it's been on the channel before in its standard form, which begs the question, why am I looking at it again today? Well, firstly, it's because I love the Scar H. It's the, my favorite firearm in the world. But secondly, there's been a mod released fairly recently, 2023, so it's a two-year difference between the mods, but the Scar H Armory mod allows you to throw on a lot more attachments, which is funny because it's like a mod for a mod. It's a modception. It's an interesting. We're, we're getting onto meta levels of modding here, but you get a whole lot more attachments to this thing. It makes it more customizable, and I need that an excuse to use the Scar again. Secondly, we've got the True Damage mod on. Again, you might notice this thing is only doing 44 damage, and under normal circumstances, I'd definitely be complaining about that, or you'd think I'd change the, uh, the damage slider to be way, way down. I actually haven't. That's just on standard right now. Um, this thing, or the true damage mod, will allow this thing to be outputting a more realistic level of damage. And one of the things that it does is just cuts out all of the extra magic damage that you get from investing in the perks. It actually changes the perks a little bit, I'm, I'm told. But uh, I'm pretty sure you're not really interested in what they're doing. So suffice it to say, the you'll get better um, damage for the higher caliber ballistics, and this is a higher caliber rifle. Uh, normally this thing shoots uh, 7.62 NATOs, which are I mean, basically the same size as 308 rounds, so that's a good stand-in for it. I think I mentioned that last time I was looking at the SCAR, but we'll find that this is going to be a fairly realistic approach to this thing doing damage, and obviously the flip side, um, we're going to be taking realistic amounts of damage, which means anyone holding an anti-material rifle will just one-shot me. doesn't matter if I'm in power arm or, or wearing a plate carrier. If I'm getting hit with a 50 cal, that's instant death. We're going to try to take Immersive Gunners Plaza with a Scar H um, using the true damage mod, and it's probably going to be very difficult and may, may take a few takes, or maybe a suppressed um, nighttime uh, operation might be in order if I can't get it done during the day. Anyways, let's get into the attachments. First of all, I've got the receivers. They're all the same. We're going to go for an advanced receiver here for starters because we're going to make this one like a Battlefield 4 Scar H SV variant. Legendary effect provided by legendary modification. Next up, we've got the muzzles. You can have muzzle brakes, flash hiders, many of those. Different brakes here. Big, big Battlefield 4 brakes. I'm tempted. Notice the range on this thing is 479. We haven't even extended the barrel yet, so isn't that interesting? We're going to throw that one on, although the use of a suppressor, very, very tempting. You'll notice that the suppressor actually drags down your damage a little bit. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a stand-in for subsonic rounds and slightly hurt less over range because they're not going as fast. Is that how it works? Not really sure. Perhaps it's just a balancing thing because, you know, suppressors make things a little bit too easy in some circumstances. But we'll definitely check out the suppressors on a different version. But for now, we'll move on to barrels. We want to find the longest barrel possible. And extra little bit of handguard there will do us pretty nicely. Ah, yes. Look at that. Extra tactical rails on it. It's even got its own tan sort of set up here. We've gone straight down into the sights, which there are many of, including Magpul iron sights, some aim point scopes, versions with risers as well, both in black or FDE colors. Eotex, Hollow Suns, Leopolds, SBs, there's some SIG stuff. Trigicon stuff has made an appearance as well, so ACOGs. Uh, yes, please. Let's, let's go for an ACOG in our Sky H sniper variant. Black. Yeah, well, I mean, FTE doesn't really suit. I wish there was kind of a tan variant for this one. We'll just go for a, a black version here. You can change this thing's pistol grips. Depends on how comfortable you want the uh, pistol grip to be. I'll quickly scroll through them so you can see them. A lot of them are just material swapped variants of it, but there's a couple of cool things in there, including this one here with the... The palm shelf, very comfortable. That won't definitely give you a blister or anything. And you can throw stuff on the right rail, including laser sights or flashlights. So we'll throw on the hollow sun on this side. And there is a front side here. You can delete it, you can fold it forward, or you can have uh, unfolded H or SC variants, which just raise up that front side a little. Not sure whether that would change how you aim down sights, whether it raise the camera up should you aim down sights with standard ones. But if we fold this down, it's literally clipping 
through the Picatinny rail. So we'll just delete it and we will move on from that. We're going over muzzles. You can have risers on your scopes as well if you feel like it. I don't think we need that. That's a pretty ergonomic looking rifle already, don't you think? I should know. I've shot one in real life. <laughs> yes, definitely did. And you can throw on a little Trigicon RMR at the top of this site. I don't think we'll be utilizing that at all, so we'll leave that off for now. I think there's a way you can use the um, secondary sights on this thing, but it requires a little bit of scripting, and I don't have time to doing that. I I've worked 12 hours today, so um, we'll just uh, move on from that. So the top rail position, you can have it forward or default, which doesn't appear to be changing much, but if we attach something... On that top rail maybe that would uh, cause that attachment point to actually move indeed it does you can have it hanging off the front of the uh, weapon there that'll just actually utilize that little point there which is nice but we've already got a laser sight let's not overkill this thing with lasers just yet on the lower rail, you can have a selection of foregrips, including angled ones in tan and in normal, grip pods, some sort of grip that I think I saw in a Starfield gun, some vertical grips, stubby ones, more angled ones, more stubbies, angled, whatever that is, and a little bit more. Let's go with, uh, let's go with a black Magpul version because, you know, we've got to reduce that first shot recoil multiplied by 33%. That's extra accuracy for us. All right, so for the magazines, you get the standard 20 round magazine. You can have 25 rounds up to a maximum of 30 rounds in a magazine, which is 50% more. That's a pretty big bonus. The more time you're shooting, the less time you've got to reload. So um, that'll be good for an extended sort of firefight or multiple targets. Now, you can change the uh, SCAR SC upper version here, so that'll suit the uh, different sights um, using the SC front sight there. That'll probably just shift that for you. So if you choose to put on that one, you get a different type of stock you can put on, which looks like that. I quite like it the other way around, but you know what? We made this bed and we're going to lay in it. Although that's pushed our um, angle grip all the way back, so nah, we have to go back and do the normal thing. The normal stocks can be removed, collapse, or extended like that, and the game alt tabbed to me, so that's better. We can see it. There's also an option for standard sprint or a tactical sprint, which requires gun nut rank 4. <laughs> you got to be trained in the art of guns to run with a gun tactically. And damage modifier, we won't be touching this, but even if you do touch this, you're only getting an extra little bit of damage out of it, so that's interesting. That barely changes it at all. I guess it's not using the multipliers as they are already, or it's an additive bonus. That's interesting. You can also change this thing's materials. Black, black and white, go pies, tan, tan mixed, tan alt, and tan alt mixed, which you can have a cool sort of black end on that weapon, and I don't know. This is not how I envisioned my Scar HSV to be looking at, but I guess that's what we're going to be using. I've made the Scar ugly. I've done the impossible. Yeah, you can throw stuff on the uh, left-hand rail if you want, including flashlights. Let's use that one. A flashlight on a DMR-type rifle. Yeah, that works. And just a reminder, this weapon is craftable at a workbench under weapons, FN, craft them for gun nut rank 2 and these materials. And just a reminder that there is indeed a unique variant for you to find of this. Find it at Skylanes Flight 1665 in the Glowing Sea. There's the Crater of Adam for reference and there's other some other things on the map that you might recognize but you want to find it in the uh, main sort of flight and cockpit cabin thingy um, right towards the uh, front of the location you just find it on this box here it's explosive too warbird Excellent. looks cool yes um, also it's where you find this gigantic safe which you can open somehow there's a way to do it but um, that's not relevant to this mod or video, so we'll just start uh, leave it at that. All right, let's uh, shoot some things. Righto, we're about to start at Immersive Gunners Plaza. This might be difficult, but anyways, here is our Sky H Sniper variant with the ACOG scope. As you can tell, it's a see-through scope type setup because it's in... Uh, well, you can't see through, it's just a plastic top 
And then as soon as you aim down sights, bam, it's clear. Your FOV goes really small, and you can see far in front of you. Here's a reload animation, just if you are forgetting. This one here is just the standard version angled grip laser sight on the front of the basic Aerotech extended magazine. This one here, a little bit more uh, stealthy, tactical, black and white paint, go pies with the uh, foregrip suppressor and also flashlight on the other side, laser sight as well included. And lastly, we've got one with a gigantic, I believe it is an 8x scope, also with a suppressor 25 round magazine. Notice how the uh, magazine completely disappears, just goes away. But doesn't matter because the foregrip works really well in third person, so that counts for basically everything. Now, let's do this the easiest way possible to start off with. Would you believe a 762 to someone's head? will kill them in one shot. Perhaps this might be easy. Real, real easy, provided I don't get any, like, stray bullets from anywhere. But, yeah, so far, so good. The power of hit scan weapons, 2.9 times multipliers on our things. And even if we miss, they stagger. We can easily get a follow-up shot. That was a very dangerous man with a... Uh, <laughs> Yes, that's a uh, 50 cal. If that, even if he hit me with that stray panic fire bullet, that would have been over. Anyways, let's try to bring the party towards me. Try to draw him out a little bit. Okay, I'm not getting sneak criticals anymore thanks to uh, TKS man just coming in here. We'll just sort him out real quick. There we go. And that was a no scope, and that was it. So that's why we sneak. It's moments like these where I'm glad I disabled that um that mod, <laughs> that MG42 mod, because the panic fire would just like touch you and bam, instant death. Kind of like what's happening to these gunners right now. But yeah, if we can thin out the herd a little bit so I can get more of a time to assault, I guess this would be the more realistic approach of trying to take down a fortress, I suppose, and we'll just take out those turrets before those stray 556s five, destroy my kneecaps entirely. So that's just a stray hit, probably just a, a glancing blow there, but yeah, these guys packing the uh, Fallout New Vegas AMRs, they mean business, so look out. We've also got the tactical lean mod, as always, for even more of that fake tactical play because, you know, we're, we're just pretenders here. We don't know anything about military and shooting other than, hey, this gun was made in this year and yeah, I mean, I've shot a Nerf gun before. They don't like you having guns in Australia, unfortunately. It's a real uh, constitutional freedom problem or something. Anyways, let's go in a little bit closer now. We use the suppress variant. A little bit hmm impenetrable force fields. That's an AMR. That, I'm not sure what that is. That's just a standard assault rifle. That's not as scary. Although, if you get mowed down by them, good bloody luck. Okay, they've got flashbangs too. One disorient from them, and then you are finished. And I really should be careful about peeking my head out like that. No, keep the mantis alive if possible. And remember, when in doubt, that. Yeah. You see that? That was some collateral that's no, That's a- that's a cloaked invisible woman. And they're pulling out all the stops to get me. That's a gauss rifle. Probably don't want to get hit by that. I was fortunate not to get hit. Now I've noticed with the laser guns, and is that a frag grenade? No. The laser guns, they don't do much. Probably because, you know, um, the structural damage of having a giant piece of lead at high velocity, you know, penetrating through your body and doing the terrible things. That's another AMR. Okay, so there will not be a third time where I'm killed by an anti-material rifle. That mod has been uninstalled with extreme prejudice and still obviously not wearing the plate carrier, but I've got a solution. We can just put the plates in. What's that mod called again? This is just the small plate that the mod gives you by default, and maybe that might just give me a, a little bit of damage reduction so I can um, take a few hits before I get into too much trouble. And excuse me, is, is that a bug in my face? Out! Bad bug. Anyways, 
back to our regularly scheduled uh, shooting of gunners. And so far, so good. Obviously, we're using the unsuppressed variant now. The scope here is not as effective. And that's a couple of shots coming in now. Oh, we're in danger. And there goes our plate. Maybe we'll throw a new one in. No, we just checked on it. it just, it just replace it. So, yeah, even an armor plate that is specifically designed to give you a shitload of damage reduction, it's not going to do the job. Anyway, so that gun is going to mess around there. And more hits for me. That's not good. We've activated Nerd Rage at this point already. Tell you what, if I can pull this one off, I'm going to shave my head. Actually, I think... I think we've got a bout of, um, what you call it, Idiot Savant, which means I'm getting 600 XP of getting all of that extra damage bonus. If I screw this up now, it'll be a huge shame, but the, uh, looks like the plate is still holding a little bit. I can shoot that guy through there. Okay, there's our lifeline. We've got an idiot savant proc level up because if you have rank 3 of that, you get 3 times XP per kill. Which is funny because you turn into an idiot who, as soon as they have an idiotic moment, they go on a huge killing spree and are massively rewarded for it. So, isn't that interesting? That person up there with the laser rifle. Bad weapon to choose, but perhaps a little bit more accurate than what I'm utilizing right now. I gotta say... I love that there's a scar with a little bit more kick. I mean, it's all fun and when the gun's jumping around in front of you and not doing anything, but you really got to wrestle with this thing, which, you know, can be an... Uh, I guess it, it's a problem sometimes, but, you know, since I'm expecting that sort of uh, nonsense from a scar H, I think that would... I'm, I'm okay with it. A little bit of personality, that's fine. Anyway, so we're going to back off around the corner and sort of try to not get hit by these guys as they're charging at me. Actually, that's a plasma gun. I don't have to worry about that guy as much. No. Okay. Try not to get just hit. And try to maybe take some cover, perhaps. Yes. Okay. I spent a little bit too much time on him, and now I'm being flanked by this man. So we'll just spam. Spam it. We are playing Battlefield 4. DMRs are just mouse button one simulators. No, you don't. And I think there was some guy in there who was shooting me at point-blank range. Maybe? No, it was this guy. Guess what? No. Sit down. What is that? That's a Beretta RX. They're cool. No, for a 7.62 heavy round solution, it definitely feels like it's doing proper 762 damage although these gunners must have eaten many wheat bix or perhaps at this stage of um technology the combat armor developed by the u.s military is like super badass and is um rated to withstand more rounds than what you'd get from your standard like chest plate these days the, the, like the kevlar things that they make i suppose i think they're kevlar someone will be able to fill me in on that should they want to but um we've got most of our health but we're gonna run in nice and close now if we can stay nice and hidden throughout this then uh we could uh probably do a pretty good job at finishing off immersive gunners plaza i mean it's one thing to do it with a suppressor but doing it during the day okay laser gun whatever I'm not really sure why the laser guns would do so little damage. If they've got enough damage to literally disintegrate the targets that you're shooting at, then, I mean, that that kind of energy, I feel like, would be a little bit more than what you'd find behind a bullet, right? Who knows? I, I think someone did the calculations of that. May have been Shrodicast that Austin talked about how much energy you'd need to completely disintegrate targets. It's not just humans either. It's also shit like death claws that you you can do as well and right now a flashbang would be a godsend okay so i think i counted two plasma guns in there perhaps even three plasma guns well okay they put all the less dangerous dudes in the one area but all right so there you have it uh i actually did it immersive gunners plaza uh, with true damage with the scar 
many variants, scoped and suppressed alike, and I had a pretty good time. Whoa, okay. I don't have time for this, so I I wasn't expecting all of this nonsense. That's really weird. Just pretend that I didn't have any crits that I needed to have all- Wow. Whoa, okay. I'm actually a little bit worried about that Assaultron. Get out of here. They're tough these robots. I suppose it makes sense. They've got no, like, vital organs that'll stop their entire beings from functioning. That's ready to go. Heads down. I'm going to third person exploit this. Ah, yes. The good old-fashioned... That, that's it. Okay, yeah, see-through scopes, not see-through scoping, right? That's that's normal. All right, hang on. Where's your thing? Fusion claws. Yeah, hit those. Perfect. Man, robots. They're so much more dangerous. Perhaps that's why, right? Because is there one gunner left? No, just a rust devil who's decided to walk up. Whatever they shot at me just then, it got eaten up by the uh, thing. Uh-oh, heavily damaged. Swap it out. The question is, where does it go? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. Also, classic holstered weapons. Some of these um, meshes are skinned and will not show up, which is a shame. We're, we're missing a grip there. That's an easy fix in Nifscope if the uh, mod author is uh, wanting to fix that. Just unskin it. So, weirdly, like, the inverse... Um, of difficulty happens when you take on gigantic monsters like the swan over there because normally they're just like giant bullet sponges and they take ages to kill you just because they're big and slow and they're predictable and all that and we'll just take out that death claw so we can have all the attention of ourselves please took a bit of killing that death claw but that's normal but as soon as we start attacking this one look at his health we'll go into vats here which is just standard shots if we can find his head And I guess, if you think about it, if his um, skeleton is not made of adamantium, if you put enough 7.62s into his noggin, that's gonna go, that's gonna go right through his brain and, you know, take out a significant portion of that or put enough things in that, it'll bleed, it'll hemorrhage, you know, take out your motor functions, so... Yeah, it's potentially realistic. I'm pretty sure we can one-shot, like, the Wendigo ghoul. Here, watch this. I'll show you. All right, there's Mr. Wendigo man over there. Now you see him, and now you don't. That was it. One critical, and he's dead. You can do that five times. If there's multiple of him, you know, you got enough uh, shots in your rifle in vats, you can just keep chaining kills over and over, provided you're nice and hidden, which is funny. I just want to see the discrepancy between are they mantises spawned no because i'm pretty sure all of the vanilla enemies have been adjusted but you'll get the enemies that are from um different mods that haven't been adjusted which is why the um the mantises these days are so tanky but he usually a crit sorts them out but yeah i don't think i need to show off anything else because you you get the idea this thing it kicks ass and uh gunners will kick your ass and under normal circumstances, you'll probably be fine to just run the true damage mod and, you know, there's no vanilla circumstances where a place like Gunners Plaza Fort will be there in the game. So you could probably say that it's just a little bit too easy just because the AI is just simply not fast enough to react most of the time. Plus, it's way too easy to sneak and you can exploit all of that stuff. So it is an interesting way to play the game, however. I do like the extra difficulty and sort of the... um twitch shooter sort of elements where it's more about your reflexes and being able to put bullets on a specific point real quick before they can shoot you and obviously it would have been easy if i could just use stem packs but you know i want to give you folks at home a little sizzle so if you'd like to see this thing in your game check out the link in the description not the the raffle the player npc um that's not a mod follower that i've made yet i've got a few ideas on what to do
but highly recommend using both this mod. And if you do like the Scar H, it's just a no-brainer to get even more attachments for it. You can configure it to whatever you like in in ways that you, I could probably see this improving. Like, I don't know. I'm a sucker for faction insignias and stuff on the side there. So right behind the um, ejection port there, like a Brotherhood of Steel logo or a Disciples, uh, the, the Raider Gang Disciples logo. That'd be kind of cool. Or Institute any any faction of this so i think that'd be cool just to tie it in a little bit with um the fallout universe because other than that it's just this tactical weapon that doesn't really belong here but that's fine we can just use cognitive dissidence to just completely ignore that check out the link in the description it'll be down there thank you very much for watching guys if there's an xbox variant of this mod i'll sure be linking it or i'll find some sort of alternative but that's it for me thank you very much for watching bye